Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I want to be testing out this brush right here. Now this is a Denman brush, and I really want to test it out to see if this how this affects my curls, how my curls would look by using a Denman brush to style it. Now the reason why I want to try out the Denman brush is because I hear a lot of curly hair girls talk about it. Some good stuff, some bad stuff, of course. There's always a mix of reviews on this brush. Some people say they like it because it really makes their curl definition pop, like it really clumps their curls together, it really defines it. Some people don't like it, they think it doesn't do anything, so I want to know, I want to know how it's going to be in my hair. When I'm in the shower, I just like to finger detangle my hair, it's easiest for me, it's super quick to finger detangle. I'm not using it for that, I'm just going to use it to see if it clumps my curls back together and how my curls look when I style it. Now I'm going to do like one section of my hair using the Denman brush and the other section I'm not. I'm just going to apply my products regularly and I want to see if there's going to be a big difference with how my curls are going to look. So let's read the front before I open it up. So it says the Denman, um, the original natural rubber pad styling brush and it's a classic. Now I got this at Sally's and it retails for $12.99 and this product they had like different styles. I got the original because I didn't know what else to get. This product set is the UK's number one professional hairbrush brand, British made. Okay, so yeah, it says ideal for smoothing and styling. So that's what I really want to do, just see how this product just styles my hair. That's what I'm going to do. Let's open this up. Okay. okay. How does it feel? Okay, it feels very rough. Like a brush. I haven't used a brush in a long time to detangle my hair. That's crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Use that side. Right? Left. Yeah. No, the first hand. That's the first hand? Yeah. So I'm going to use the brush on this side. And then I'm going to apply this side regularly. I'm going to be using two products today. Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. And I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie. If you guys have been with me. I can say that because I've been making YouTube videos for over a year now. About to be two years. If you guys have been with me since back in the day. You guys know about this product. It's the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. I only have a little bit left because I'm really trying to use this product up. It's really hard for me to use up products now. Because I do so many first impressions. So many product reviews that each week there's a new product that I'm testing out. That is hard for me to like use up all my old products and that's why i didn't make any curly hair routine wow i'm really glad let's get to the point so let's <laughs> separate my curls i just want to try it out now let's try it out hmm. you can really see a difference oh it feels really soft now you guys see that i feel like i really jumped in with this Wow, you really see a difference already. Okay, so let's start. Let's apply some cream to uh, this side of my hair. Some leave-in. I really like this leave-in conditioner because it's very hydrating. You guys should know that I'm obsessed with this. It's really creamy. Whenever I use a product and I feel like it's not moisturizing, I always reach for this to mix it in with because it just leaves my hair really creamy and soft, moisturized, all that good stuff. I know some people don't like it, so that's why you know you really have to test product out for yourself to see how you like it. Okay, and I'm just gonna rake it through regularly. You can already see a difference. Whoa, it's weird because I don't part my hair down the middle, so this is. I wonder how it's gonna dry. You know what I'm saying? And then let's be up, light, and then maybe go like this. I'd be seeing some girls do that. I'd be watching people they go like that, and then they go something like this. Maybe I should wash them more. I'll do some stuff. I think that's the rake and shake thing. Shake and bake. I'm gonna scrunch it because I usually always scrunch my curls up. I feel like this side is gonna have the ill shrinkage. Ooh, I like. Okay, and let's apply some of this. It's like another moisturizing styling product. It really defines the curls. It's really creamy. It doesn't leave any hold to your hair and it doesn't like make your hair feel dry. I have like nothing in here. So it looks like that. It has like a very like coconut, like tropical scent. Mm. Let's apply it to this side and apply it regularly. You can hear my nephews in the background. Oh my god. These children. Like I need to really apply some here. This part of my hair is always so dry. Okay, and let's brush it out one more time. Maybe I'm brushing it out too much. But I can't help it because it makes my hair feel so soft. Let's see if you guys can see that. Oh my god.
Are you guys seeing that? Anthony, are you seeing this? You have to see this. Magic is happening. Look. You saw that? Hell yeah. So this is all that I'm going to apply to my hair. I really want to see how this brush will make my curls look once it air dries. So I'm going to go let my hair air dry. I just want to show you guys how my hair is currently looking. The shrinkage, let's just say the shrinkage is real with this side with the brush. And without the brush, my hair is like looking regular. But this shrinkage is really real. I really want to fluff it out to see how it looks more. But I just wanted to show you guys this first. So this is how my hair is currently looking before I fluff it out. This looks fuller, the one without the brush. It looks fuller? Right? Yeah, I guess, yeah, this side looks really fuller. Because it didn't like, it looks more, yeah, it looks really voluminous because it didn't shrink up. This side is, like, really, really, shrinkage is real. Shrinkage, no shrinkage, fuller, really intact. That's how my hair is currently looking. Let's look at the back because that's looking crazy. Like, you see, this is, like, so long. This is, like, Short. all, like, clumped together, though. Oh, true, true. Hey guys, so I just finished fluffing out my hair a little bit more. So now you guys can see how my hair looks. I try to make them as even as possible because as you guys saw in the non-fluff clip, this side was really voluminous and this side was like not as big. So I try to make them as even as I could. So let me give you guys uh, my overall thoughts for this Denman brush. So first off, what size do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer the one with the Denman brush? Or do you guys prefer the side where I usually style it regularly? As you guys can see, my curls are really defined and they're really like clumped up together don't get me wrong this side is defined too but not as much like i feel like i have so many ringlets on this side and they're all super clumped together so that's what i'm noticing with the denman brush what i liked about this is the way that my hair felt after i ran it through it like after i passed the brush through my hair like my hair felt super super soft i really did like that like i never use a brush to really detangle my hair i usually just finger detangle so using this brush i was like wow my hair felt really really soft so i really did like that um, i asked my mom and i asked my nephew and even asked anthony what side that they prefer with the clip that you guys saw where my hair is completely dry and super flat they all said they preferred this side better and I asked Anthony after I fluffed out my curls after I fluffed this side out I asked Anthony what side he prefer and he actually said he likes this side better I like my, how my hair looks on this side as well I love how voluminous and I love how how real the side looks but I also really like how my curls feel here like my curls feel soft and they feel so so curly I don't know because when I touch like all I touch is like ringlets like this side it feels mad fluffy like up here it feels very fluffy like this side feels more fluffy than this side so overall my first impression of this product is i kind of like it I, i'm really interested to trying it out and seeing how my curls look after i use this brush all throughout my hair i really want to see how my curls are going to look but i think this product is pretty good if you're looking for a product that's really going to keep your curls intact really like if you guys don't care about shrinkage like if you guys love shrinkage then this brush would really work out for you because hello shrinkage is totally real on this side as a product to really comb through your curls and make sure everything is nice and smooth i think this product did a good job so I really don't know what else to say about this brush because I feel like my curls really do the talking. So if you guys like this side better, then um, you can finger detangle. You don't really need this. But if you guys like the way my curls look on this side, then you can always use a Denman brush, maybe a paddle brush. I don't know what other kind of brush. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this product. Um, Let me know in the comments down below if you have this brush, if you tried it out. If you like it or you don't like it, leave it down in the comments below. I would love to know you guys' opinion on this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.